Cheek here, it's your boy Fist in the His Ass, bringing another great edition of Black Ops for me to you, because that's what I do. I'll bring in a game of Hazard. You know, I was trying to, I was trying to set out uh, this loadout because I didn't have the G11, and uh, you know, I don't know, I probably could have used something like the M14. I was only like a level 29, I think, but I was um, using the grenade launcher and black jacket and tactical mask. I think this was my this was my setup to set up to piss people off in silo. But it was left over and I didn't have an ex well I didn't equip an extra slot for hazard so I was like stuck with the same kit that I used for uh, pissing people off and the other one here you know and I started off pretty shitty, you know, and I was like half assing it and I was like blah blah blah, whatever. You know, but the the great thing about this game is that, you know, even though I was like playing like shit, I made a comeback and you know, I used grenades because um I wanted to prove a point of like, look, if you use the iron sights, you might as well take advantage of the fact that you have a grenade launcher kit with it. And if you can manage iron sights, think how much more powerful your game is with the grenade launcher and the iron sights. Now the one thing about this is is that you 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 have to know when to use it and when not to use it and that's the hard part because like you'll get caught in between which one you want to use and it's just it's just part of learning now get this straight before you go on a little rampage it's a part of learning if you follow the rest of my videos you would understand that you have to have combinations for every situation so this is kind of a learning video for me or a learning game it really is I mean I really didn't have any videos to upload uh, because I'm busy. It's Fourth of July weekend. I'm trying to catch up on everything, and people are like, "Huh, oh, Fisticuffs, upload a commentary." So uh, I'm uploading this one because I thought it was interesting, and it was one of the only ones I had that, you know, not only was it a comeback, but it used like a different combination of things on a map that maybe you w wouldn't otherwise use. And, um, I, I find it, I, you know, like I said, I'm a connoisseur of this game. You know, I've said that before, and I like to use all types of different things. I mean, sometimes I like to use things to piss people off. You know, it makes me feel good. Uh, sometimes I like to use things that I know that will work multiple times throughout, you know, my journey in the game. You know, I haven't reached level 1550. Once I get done, I mean, I'm working on like 10, 15 videos for Machinima. And it takes a lot of paperwork and all this other stuff you have to do to put in the Dropbox. Blah, 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 blah. And I was caught in between doing that epic theater mode, Anonakis. So I wanted to get that out. I got cartoons on the back. I got cartoons that are on the oven. I mean, I got so much I have to do that, you know, I'm trying to get it all out to you guys and then keep you happy with a little commentary here. But, you know, like I said, um, don't be afraid to use the grenade launcher. I mean, it's not that it's not overpowered in this game. It's not it doesn't have danger close to it. I mean, if you could if you can manage your weapon and here's the great thing about it. If you know how to balance those two things, then, you know, it's, it's a good combination to have. The one thing that I don't like is the fact that. I mean, you have to have a direct hit to a flak jacket, which two grenade launchers would fucking tear apart a car. I don't understand, like, even a rocket launcher, and that's why I started using flak jacket. Once I shot a rocket launcher, I think it was a couple of videos back, my um, dedicated followers were, were, would remember. I think it was on, actually, I can remember, it was on Discovery when I shot the guy by flak B, literally, with two rockets, and he didn't die. So I think it's overpowered um, to an extent, and um, to me, you know, people they complain about they complain about ghost, but when people wear flak jacket, they don't complain. I mean, it's like a it's it's just like fucking juggernaut. I don't see how you cannot be mad at people who are using flak jacket. I mean, the only difference is it doesn't stop bullets, and it's like a half-ass juggernaut. But anyways, I don't understand the logic. I don't really care. You know, I just want to show you this. Look at this. Now I'm camped up in this building. Look, you know, my team's sucking ass. I got split screens on my team. That's another thing. If you got split screens on your team, leave the room immediately. 
that's like a immediate stage left. So here I am with an Iron Sight M16. I got the sensor. Now I use the sensor for silo. I wasn't using. I would never use sensor on this map. I don't even care to. But and it's, you can see it didn't even help me. You know, I mean, literally, I'm just held up in this building waiting for this damn chopper to go away. And it's like <laughs> you can look. I mean, we're literally. Uh, they're literally almost like ten wins away from beating us. And we. And we. I mean, that's a. That's a. 20 kill streak swing right about here that we come back and beat them. You know, this this is why I did the video. It's like, you know, a lot of these people, you know, I try to tell them like, you know, like, oh my gameplay, I got 93 and 2. Why doesn't anybody watch me? You know, I try to tell people like, listen, it's not about the gameplay anymore. It's about the camaraderie, about uh it's about your uh commentary. You know, camaraderie. You know, I mean, it is true with the people you know on YouTube as well. But uh, it's more about being entertaining and um, just showing your real games. I mean, you don't have to post these fucking games where you go unbelievable scores. I mean, people like to see how you play in a certain pressure situation like this. I mean, it's more interesting to them to see, well, dang, how does he get out of this? You know, what? I mean, there's more drama to this situation than you fucking pounding people into the ground and going 102 so the thing about it is just show your games everyday games it doesn't matter people like to see you know I mean just be truthful to yourself and then if that doesn't work just find a new game build your subs on that and then come back to the game you love that's my advice I hope you enjoyed this comeback five fisticuffs on hazard and I have to go to back to getting the rest of this machinima stuff done but as soon as I'm done I'll be back with mad gameplay. Until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace! It's, it's your boy Vaughn on behalf of Fisticuffs. Peace. Oh.